Next job is going to be to um, clean up all of these brackets and get them painted. Uh, some of them are uh, some of them are not too bad. Right, it's one of the four tops, and this one's a bit tatty, but nothing that won't uh, nothing that won't clean up easily. Um, got other brackets as well. Uh, this I think is the battery part of the battery holder. That'll clean up. I might do some of these in the uh, brush on the oil based paint rather than the spray. Uh, but these um, these stay brackets that are all visible, I think, would be done with the spray. But I've discovered a bit of a problem. So this is the um, this is the swing arm uh, um, bar that the uh, axle, I guess, that the swing arm runs on, and it has on each end of it the uh, there's the bracket that gets bolted on. Um, for the foot pegs but the one that's actually attached to the bracket if you look at this has had a really horrible cobbly weld and repaired onto it which is pretty nasty so I think I'm going to um, dismantle this take this bracket off uh, chop this off um, clean it up and then make a new extension to it and and butt weld it onto it rather than uh, rather than have it overlapping like it is at the moment. Um, it just looks it just looks crap at the moment. So I think I've got a bit of cutting, grinding, and uh, welding in my uh, fairly near future. So anyway, I'm going to get the metal first. So. Uh, First thing to do is to start cleaning off all of these other brackets and getting them ready for painting. So we're nearly through this. Oh, looking better already. So that's uh that's what I've chopped off. Now all I've got to do is go and find somewhere to get a piece of steel from to make a replacement for it and then just weld it in. Should be easy. So I've chopped off the <coughs> chopped off the offending uh, piece of bracket and got rid of that uh, horrible, horribly welded piece. I don't know if you can see that it's not actually a straight bracket that goes up at an angle, so I'll have to replicate that. Um, and I've been and found a piece of plate steel, it cost me about two, two pounds. Um, so I can, uh, should be able to fabricate um, a new additional piece of the bracket out of that. Um, but it's going to be a lot of cutting and uh, shaping, I think. Um, with a hacksaw, it'd be nice to have a plasma cutter, but I don't have one of those. It'd be nice to have a bandsaw, but I don't have one of those either. But what I do have is one of these. So it looks like that's going to be the tool of choice. So um, I'll show you this as it progresses. Uh, this is interesting. Just trying to work out why it had got that bend in the uh, in the bracket, and if we look at the. Uh, you look at the drawing in the exploded part, it's actually got a dog leg bend in it. Um, but also it shows having two holes in the um, in the bracket as well. One of them is for the foot peg and I couldn't work out what the other one was for. If we look at it, um, I've got it placed on the bracket from the other side here. You can see that's where the, um, the original uh, hole should be for the foot peg. And then well, that's the bit I've chopped off. But there's also the second hole here which is closer to this. I'm trying to work out what the heck that was for. Um, so I had a look online and this is why it's useful having a computer in the workshop. And I think what it's for is this is the bracket here and I think it's where the wires from this are brake, rear brake light switch and the wires go through that hole into the uh, into the back of the uh, into the wiring harness that's running up the, the uh, frame here. So that's why there's two holes in it, so I shall have to put two holes in it um, 
and uh, I'm going to use this um, bracket from the other side as a template for uh, for what's going on with the um, uh, what shape to make the, uh, the the insert piece. We'll see how we get on. We are back on the bench. Um, so this is the this is the bracket from the other side. Uh, this is the good part of the bracket from this side and so that's what I've got to cut out of this piece of plate so um, much hacksaw and uh, grinding to do I'll let you know how this proceeds so we've got it cut out um, and now I'm going to have a go with the uh, with the grinder at tidying it up I'm getting down to the lines. Let me show you all of this, but let's just see how we get on. The safety specs on. Covered in filler dust. going to do. I'll uh, carry on with that for a bit and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see the uh, plate I've made. I need to drill a hole in it, actually two holes in it, mark those, drill those. Grind this uh, edge so that, and these edges so that we've got a bit of a V from each side and get it welded on. I think that's um, it's a job for tomorrow. As it's about 6.30, I'm going to go home, going to go in, feed the cat, have some dinner. And I can wait till tomorrow. We'll see how we get on with welding it. Okay, so I've uh, made the extension piece. Um, I've formed it so that it's Got the right dog leg in it, I hope. Ground it so that we got a V from both sides to be able to get some decent penetration. So now it just comes to welding it. So I'm going to tack the two ends and then um, check that it's all lined up properly and then uh, see if I can weld it. See if I can remember how to do that. Got it. All right, here we go.
Well, we'll see what that looks like after I've had the glider on it for a bit. Let it cool off. Well, here it is done. I'll say that's okay. So quite, uh, quite, quite happy with that. So we'll, um, we'll call that done, and uh, just need some paint on it now. But that looks significantly better than uh, than what I took off it. Oh yeah, just like a job in the town.